All right, America. Now it comes down to one last round. Our real world scenario right now is going to be about power and what managers can do with it. Now as a manager, you have power over your employees, but it's how you decide to use that power that'll be the deciding factor in this real world scenario. So I ask you both, will you use power as a motivator or as a controlling factor? We'll give you a little bit of time to deliberate for America. And remember, this is our last round, so make sure you're voting. Well, we should definitely treat our employees as equal because we're all a team going for like one goal. No. Our employees are here to make sure that the job gets done and so that we don't have to do as much work. They're here to serve us. They're our employees, not our team members, not our equals. They're here to serve their purpose and get paid. So we can make them do all the work and we could sit back and relax in our office? Exactly. Oh, that's, I never thought of that. Oh my God. They're ants. They're subjects. They are. Oh my God. Okay, I think we're ready. So how are we gonna use our power? Power can be dangerous, but it can also be really helpful. We can help our employees if they're like stuck. Right. We can give them like an advance right. or pay if they really need help. Um, I mean, it could get out of control. We like force them to do things they don't want to do, but right. we don't, don't want to be that bad should be like that. No. Yeah. I think we should just focus on helping our employees do the best job that they can do. Yeah, we can just motivate them. Yeah. Okay. All right, time's up, and I hope you guys made your best decisions because this is the final round. Team A, power. You're going to use it to motivate or control. Uh, so we decided that we're just going to make all of our employees do all the work. I mean, they're supposed to be working for us. They're here to make our lives easier. I mean, there wouldn't be employees. We're managers, they're employees. We sit in our office and we watch them work and make sure they're doing the work. <laughs> All right, team B, power or motivation? We, as managers, would use our power to motivate our employees. Um, we want to help them be the best that they can be and do the best that they can do, and we don't want to be, quote unquote, a bad manager and forcing them to do things that they don't necessarily know how to do or want to do. So we'll use our power to motivate and help them. All right, all right. Now, America, you've heard from Team A and Team B, and now it's your time to vote. We've been tallying them up throughout the whole episode, but you have just a little bit more time to get your final vote in. So make sure you tell Team A or Team B who you think is the last manager standing. We'll be right back to see who wins the Golden State Road.